Hi everyone, it's Derek here from Adumed. Welcome to today's case study video on chronic kidney disease. Now I know with the AKT, it's all about applying your knowledge in a practical way. So in today's video, we'll look through the most commonly encountered exam areas within this topic, and we'll explore this through a case. So don't forget to pause just before the end of each question, write your answer down and click continue when you're ready to move on. So with that said, let's dive straight in. John is an 82 year old male with a background of CKD. He presents for an annual review of his condition. In addition to CKD, he also has a past medical history of type 2 diabetes and hypertension. He currently takes metformin, insulin, amlodipine, ramipril, indapamide, and bisoprolol. Bisoprolol was recently added just four weeks ago to get better control of his blood pressure. And recent investigations have shown an EGFR of 36, previously 41, and an ACR of 32. Urinalysis is clear with no hematuria. On examination today, his blood pressure still remains elevated at 162 over 98. So our first question, what aspect of this patient's history will cause you to refer him onwards to secondary care? So make sure you check out one of our previous videos where we break down in a really easy to remember way our referral criteria. So this patient in particular will need to be referred because he is on four different medications for his blood pressure, has CKD, but despite this, his blood pressure remains really poorly controlled. Question two, how can we stratify this patient's cardiovascular risk to aid us in a decision on whether to commence on statins? So we can stratify risk based on his medical history of CKD. Okay, let me explain this in a bit more detail. So we know our cardiovascular disease risk assessment tools, such as the use of Q-Risk, is not required as these patients who have CKD are automatically considered to already be at a higher cardiovascular risk. Therefore, we don't need to risk stratify these patients as they will need to be on statins due to being already at a high risk. So moving on to our last question, question three. What dose of atorvastatin would you commence in this patient? Well, we know that statins should be offered to all patients with CKD. Now, current guidance states that this dose should be kept at atorvastatin 20 milligrams if there is CKD with an ACR of three or more plus an EGFR of less than 60. These conditions apply in this case. So the answer in this case would be atorvastatin 20 milligrams. Make sure you check out our renal playlist if you struggle with any of these questions as I go into a lot more detail about the theory relating to this curriculum area. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this helpful and I'll see you soon.